All right, so we left off here before I was interrupted with the four of wands. So this king of this king of cups wants to marry you or wants to move in with you. They definitely, I'm definitely getting more so marry you here. So I don't know what you did collective, but whatever you did, you did it right. <laughs> you guys gotta use some comments down below with tips and tricks on how to, you know, do the dang thing. Yeah, whatever you did to get this this man go ahead and leave comments down below with some tips and tricks please help help some brothers and sisters out oh Kurt. honestly gotta help some brothers and sisters out all right spirit all right spirit guys tell me more Energy. It's very nice. I don't know about the of energy. This one wanted to flip out. Okay, so I'm getting right off the bat that this this King of Cups energy, a person, is very protective of you. Very protective over you. You know, they don't necessarily feel like you're their possession or anything like that. They do very much so feel like you're theirs. But they feel like you're not just their possession, but you're their territory. So they're very territorial over you. And so when it comes to people, places, and things, uh, most uh, mostly people that try to come towards you, you know, with, you know, conversation, with attacks, with conflict, or with, you know, just like a new beginning, like with ideas, you know, trying to come towards you, you know, uh, whatever you know pick you up or like you know gain access to you it's a no this is your masculine your divine masculine here fighting off anyone and everyone i don't care if it's friends and family your divine masculine does not want you entertaining anybody okay so when it comes to you just know that you're very highly protected <laughs> very highly protected when it comes to this divine masculine Highly protective over you. And with the, at the bottom of the deck here, we have the Two of Cups. So I, I know this this is your divine counterpart, your soulmate, your divine partner that we're talking about here. Yeah, very highly protective over you. We're ready to rush in and, you know, dice, slice and dice anybody that decides that they're going to try to take action towards you, come towards you. Anything that involves anything having to do with, you know, coming towards you or something like that, it's just they're not having it. So if you planned on being in a relationship with this individual and having a life outside of that, then I'm just, I'm sorry to break news to you as it's not likely. <laughs> it's very much so not likely. I'm just gonna take my intuitive, um, my intuitive, um, intuitive, you know, ref, you know what I get from this card. This is somebody that's your twin flame, somebody, somebody that has a lot of passion for you, somebody that could be a partner of yours currently, or someone that you're in a relationship with. <clears throat> There's a lot of love here. It's a very balanced connection. With the wings here, I'm seeing this being a, a connection that the divine is over like the most high god is over this connection is watching over this connection is protecting this connection is overseeing this connection and your divine masculine needs to come in and rush towards you and speak their truth they could be coming in and bringing you a message um yeah, definitely with the chariot card here they want to come in and move things forward with you you know things have been moving very slow you know at one point in time you guys were friends but now things are progressing and growing into something, you know, it was friendship 
but now it's romance, you know what I mean? With the lovers card here beneath that, definitely turning into more romance. They're aware of you, who you are to them. You know, they could have ghosted you in the past um, because they were jealous, or excuse me, they could have ghosted you in the past because they had you in competition with other people, you know, third parties, other options, but now they're holding on to you. Very, you know, they're very much so holding on to you. And they see you as a very free-spirited person. They want to come in and, and, you know, share that with you. You know, they've been through a lot. And they've come a long way. But they're not backing down. They're persevering. And they definitely want to offer you this Ten of Pentacles, this, this long-term, stable, secure connection. They see you as a high priestess. Somebody that's very intuitive. Someone that follows their intuition could be a spiritual leader, a spiritual guide, a teacher, somebody that's, you know, psychic that reads tarot like I do. All right, let's see here. All right, let's get current messages. Current messages from the collectives. Current messages from the collectives person. Messages from the collective person. Current messages from the collective person. Current messages from the collective person. Guys, please give me current messages from the collective.